Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And occasionally I get really excited about a product and I did in this case, um, just seeing it on YouTube. I was watching some Overland Expo videos. I'm always working on my Overland kit, preparing for new trips. And uh, I saw this little thing called a rope roller and it was just added to a, a video about um, roller cam straps. And roller cam, uh, makes all kinds of different tie-down options, but this guy got me really excited. So I immediately contacted the, the roller cam company and they sent me uh, a box, uh, this Overland Expo Pro Kit. Um, and I love these things. Um, the more I play with them, the more I'm excited. Now, first of all, I have to say I am a diehard NRS fan. I've used NRS my whole life. I love these things. I have tons of them in all kinds of different sizes. Um, I use other NRS products. Here's an NRS PFD. This goes uh, on the river, rafting, paddleboarding, kayaking. Here's um, one of my mini NRS throw bags. Use this all the time when I'm out on the water. So using NRS straps, I mean, that's just what we do. Um, however, they have some issues and you just learn to live with them. And the roller cam, on the other hand, has solved a lot of those problems simply because it involves adding a roller and a much smoother mechanism than just this uh, friction plate here. Now, I use a lot of paracord for a lot of different things. In fact, this, this is how I've got a uh, tie-down set for an ARB awning on a Forerunner um, that I go over landing with. So I just wrap it up here um, cut a notch in it to um, just secure it and then when it's time to make camp and unleash the uh, the awning I need to tie it down and I've used these things these are made by night eyes and I have a handful of different night eyes things in fact here's another night eyes little kind of a cam mechanism uh, designed for holding um, paracord, but this doesn't work all that well. It's sort of got this big clunky mechanism here and the, the line can pop out, especially in high winds. Um, so this is what I've been using with my ARB awning and I am so excited now to have this option. This is the roller cam um, uh, rope roller. It is a little paracord um, strap adjuster. Here's an example of it on a night ice carabiner here. So if you put paracord into it, if you pull it one way, it's solid. I mean, it, it, it slides and the other way, it's a solid lockup. And that is, I mean, really tight, way tighter than anything I've used, you know, besides a knot in paracord, yet it releases easily and slides back and forth. That is huge, huge, I tell you. Look at that. So I can just easily pull this forward um, and then lock it down tight. In fact, sometimes um, I'll even have this attached on the far end to a bungee so I can get a little bit of play, but uh, this allows such an easy adjustment. No craziness here. Um, so I was, I was excited about just this, but they sent me some other stuff. Um, including their roller cam straps. Now I use the NRS straps, I, like I mentioned, um, and this one's pretty dirty. It's been around the block. Um, and one of the problems with the NRS straps, and it's even worse on, on off-brands. I'll show you on an off-brand here. This is a what's left of, where did it go, that my dog chewed up, um, which is a good reason to have these off-brands. Oh, it's right here, sorry, I was looking behind me. Um, anyway, this guy looks fine. Uh, looks like a solid heavy metal buckle. It even has a brand name here. You can see something like that, Max Straps. Um, but pulling this through is a huge amount of resistance. That is crazy. You know, it's just not smooth. If I release it, slide smooth. But once you, I mean, that is nuts. And so you're trying to tie something down, but all of this resistance from this camming mechanism and the friction up against this, uh, you don't know if you're tightening down your load or if you're just fighting with the buckle. It is silky smooth. 
Once you get it even just a little bit, I can pull here and then you can see it is now there. I can't do that easily with the NRS. So release that. By the way, the fluidness of these buckles and they're also coated stainless steel hardware, a brass roller. So you're not gonna get, you know, it's not gonna rust out on you. So here, a lot of resistance. I mean, you can see this flies back and forth. It's kind of what we're used to with NRS. If I take up the slack, even snug, it's still gonna slide. You see that? I'm pulling on it hard and I could get this a lot tighter. Whereas if I'm working with this roller cam, take up the slack and then I can pull it and I'm actually bending that lag bolt. Incredible, huge, very simple design. All they did was do what the buckle needs to do. Patent pending. Um, some of these things are made overseas. That's understandable. Here is the, um, it uses a, a heavy duty polypropylene. It does have a slightly less rating, you know, strength rating, but these are, I think working loads like 500 pounds or something, which should exceed, uh, you, sometimes you want things to break or come loose before you, you know, you know, destroy the object it's holding down or something else. But that's plenty for most things, especially since you're often using several, but, uh, the more I use this, the more I am impressed. I mean, the amount, just holding this with two hands or two fingers, and I can easily slide that through. Try that with the NRS. I can't do it. I do not have the strength in just these two fingers to pull this through. I have to release the buckle which means generally climbing up, trying to uh, cut it free so you can make sure it's tight. I mean, that, that is amazing. Look at that, piece of cake, piece of cake. Two fingers, easily slides, oops, lost my grip there. Amazing. So the roller cam buckles, I'm super excited. You know, saw them on the Overland Expo um, and I'm, I'm thrilled that uh, they sent me some to really try these out. I was mostly just interested in the rope rollers because I use stuff like this all the time and this is a perfect solution, absolutely perfect. Little built-in carabiner there. Nice finish work, stainless steel hardware, brass, excellent. But all kinds of different options for straps. So that's my new favorite. With that, Doc out.